I, we're uh, not friends. You know. Once you decide you want your child to be your friend, now you're worried about them liking you. That's right. And there's so much of parenting that has nothing to do with them liking you. Your kids have to learn how to live in their unhappiness, and they have to learn it in their house. Their first bout of unfairness can't be at school mm. or when they're 30. You say one of the goals of conscious parenting is to become irrelevant. What do you mean by that? Irrelevant to your children. I know this is hard for a lot of people because <laughs> nobody wants to feel irrelevant. Oh, on the contrary, we want to be the supreme being in our children's lives. Absolutely. Tattoo, tattoo my name on your chest. We would love <laughs> the child to do that. Yes. Well, uh, if our goal is to have children who are unable to honor their own voice, then we make ourselves relevant. If we want to raise children who are empowered, who are resilient, who are gritty, who know how to fall back on their own inner auspices for strength, for courage, for inspiration, mm -hmm. then we raise children who do not need us anymore. We're doing the contrary. We're raising our children to need us because it makes us feel valid. It gives us significance. And oh, keeps our relevance. Keeps our relevance. I'll come to the rescue. I love when my daughter calls me secretly. I do. My ego does. But my soul knows better. My soul knows that she can find her way and I need to fade into the background and allow my ego to sit back and fall back. And that's hard. It's a constant practice because we have this thirst for significance but I will not now, or I do it less, use my daughter to fulfill my thirst for significance.